Hello and welcome. You're watching Business Today Television. I'm Sakshi Batra, and with me, somebody very, very special joining right in, Mr. Swaroop Mahanti. Joins in. He's the Vice Chairman of Mirai Asset Management. Welcome, sir, to Business Today Television, and great to speak to you. No, thank you so much for having me. It was such a pleasure to be on stage on the event. Absolutely loved your session, sir. So first up, tell us. You know, uh, mutual funds industry is at uh, a sweet spot right now. We're seeing 17,000 crore rupees plus SIPs flowing in, record high levels coming in for this one. What is the outlook that you see for the next year for mutual funds now? See, I, outlook is actually mixed. When you look at it from an SIP investor, see the same investor is behaving very differently. On the SIP side, the person is committed. Uh, the SIPs are going monthly installments are going on, but on the lump sum side, I am not seeing that same conviction. See, your compounding starts with the amount of money you have, uh, and don't break your know, lump sum into SIP is something which I say. The best time to invest is when you have the money. You know, and in in a structural growth story like India, the sooner you invest, the your compounding starts. So that's where I'm. I have mixed feelings. While on the SIP side, no complaints. And the hero of today's stock market is that individual SIP investor who is keeping on investing, and of course the distributor or the advisor who is keeping them invested, right? But I, I have a very different view when it comes to lump sum investing. I wish the lump sum investing would carry the same conviction which the SIP investor is carrying. Wonderfully said, sir. The other thing, a lot of people believe now that mutual funds is the right way to be or the right way to create wealth. But then a lot of people also get confused. We just have four crore uh, folios right now, which you pointed out on stage as well, and uh, the DMAT accounts are far more. They're ten crore plus. But why is this? Do you think there is a perception issue when it comes to mutual funds, um, or uh, that people think that perhaps if you want to create wealth, stock markets directly is the main way? What do you think it is? See, I feel it's an ownership issue, and lot changed after the industry stood up and said mutual funds are here. Mm. We said that it was here, and and if you see the track record of the industry over the last 25, 30 years, is actually here. Mm. We had to say that for the change to happen is my belief. Otherwise, you know, when when I don't believe that you know it should be mutual fund or stock market. It depends on the individual. If the ind individual is backing himself or herself to go and you know recognize a good stock and buy it. On on one zone, it's great. If you are not, then you should hire a fund manager. Yeah. And the fund manager's job is to do that for you at a very nominal fee. Yeah. If you still are not convinced, you can buy the index. Yeah. Right? The opportunities and the avenues are large. But I think the story for the next 10 years will not have any resemblance with the last 30 years story. You know, yeah. it's it's the financial asset shift is genuine. The demography is playing out. The demography today, the young of today, are very different to my generation, which was fairly risk averse. But today they are educated. They know uh, their uh, knowledge far better. The transaction on the phone is a reality, and their risk taking ability because their economic level is better is far higher than what it was. So the next 10 years is something which will be dramatically different. From what it is, is is my opinion. On Twitter, I call myself a sad equity seller because I have not seen that penetration till now. But hopefully, I'll change my statement in the next ten years. Hopefully, that changes too. Tell us, you know, uh, one thing which I wanted to understand from you about mutual fund investing is a lot of people want to start. And nowadays, now uh, we've also had the SEBI chairperson talk about the sachet mutual fund investing, like a two fifty rupees, and that too on a Business Today TV platform as well. Uh, tell us, what do you think about it? Do you think it will really make the difference in tapping the rest? of the 80 90% population see i have no problem if somebody has say 1000 rupees and is investing 250 rupees see the need for investing has to happen today the problem is the need for investing is still not there in the country the need for other things is fairly, fairly there while the need for money is serious as you start growing older and india does not have a very established pension plan the need for a pension in your retirement is very serious i mean you and i cannot fathom the kind of money we will need in our old age till that realization is not there this will not start yes a 250 rupees or a 100 rupees will ease investing maybe we will entice some but if a 100 rupees becomes 500 rupees let me tell you in today's india is not going to considerably change anybody's life The point I'm making is, these ease of investing might be there, but till the person does not raise to the occasion and realizes how much he or she needs to invest, nothing much is going to change. And that more it gets delayed, no, the more the wealth creation opportunity of this country is going. Because India is on a structural growth. The sooner you participate in the structural growth, the better it is for you. 
I mean, it's up to the individual. India is going to grow, whether you participate or not. But in for your selfish reason, the sooner you participate, the sooner your growth starts along with the country. You know, a lot of people uh, want to invest in mutual funds, thinking that this is the place that I will get rich, <laughs> and I want to become a crorepati. Do you think it is possible? See, if the goal is crorepati, there are schemes to make you that. But see, the the key is to have a goal. Sakshi, your life is very different to my life. Your goals and needs are completely different to my goals and needs. Till you don't assign a goal to yourself and you do not know why you want to invest, you will never know where to invest. If you have the money in your bank, for all you know, why get into this complicated world of investing, right? So that is why knowing that goal is very important. Yeah. Once you know the goal, then you can figure out whether that goal is viable for me or not, whether I have the time to reach that goal or not. So all that starts and ends with the goal. First, fix what you want, and all of us know what we want. Make your investment tangible. कि मैं इसलिए invest कर रहा हूँ या कर रही हूँ. Then your investment journey can be ascertained through an asset allocation. And in that asset allocation, some part might be equity, some part might be other asset classes. But it's good to have a mix of everything and form an investment portfolio which will cater to your need, not somebody else's need. Nine out of ten investors invest because somebody else is making money. Define your money, no? नहीं मेरे को वेल्थ क्रिएशन करना है ठीक है डिफाइन दैट वेल्थ लाइक यू सेड आई वांट टू डू वन करोर देन समबडी कैन प्लान इट फॉर यू दैट इज मोर क्रिटिकल वंडरफुली सेड सर थैंक यू सो मच ऑलवेज अ प्लेजर हैविंग यू विद अस ऑन बिजनेस टुडे थैंक यू फॉर हैविंग मी सक्सेस